simplification of incompletely specified functions that is given incompletely specified function that means the proper assignment of values to the don't care terms is necessary in order to obtain a minimum form of a function okay now we'll see that that means wherever there, there is a don't care we need to place with the proper value whether it should be 1 or 0 this is what the unspecified function now we'll see the example that is sop is given that is f of a b c d is equal to summation of 2 comma 3 7 9 11 13 plus don't care 1 10 15 this is using mc plus key method using fin mc plus key method now the same procedure but we need to take the don't get cr so first stage is stage 1 write the main terms according to the number of ones to group okay now 2 actually we need to consider don't care also so 1 that is 0 0 0 1 next 2 0 0 1 0 3 is next group 0 0 1 1 next 7 is another group 0 1 1 1 because 3 ones 9 that means 2 ones so 9 is considered in the second group that is 1 0 0 1 10 10 is 8 plus 2 this group 8 0 1 0 10 11 11 means next group that is 8 9 10 11 next 13 13 means 1 1 0 1 13 next last one is don't care 15 1 1 1 1 this is the first stage first stage is completed by using mc plus key next say stage 2 now go on compare the two group mean terms and pair okay if there only one change 0 0 hyphen 1 1 comma 3 0 0 hyphen 1 okay next 0 0 1 that means hyphen 0 0 1 that is 1 comma 9 next it won't change because 1 is changing 0 is changing okay we cannot pair next 2 that is 0 0 0 hyphen 0 0 0 hyphen that is 2 with 3 next 2 with is not possible because 0 is changing 1 is changing and here 1 is changing 3 changes we cannot pair so next 2 with 10 yes it is possible that is hyphen 0 1 0 2 with 10 hyphen 0 1 0 so completed now next coming to this group comparison with this group that is first is possible that is 3 comma 7 that means 0 hyphen 1 1 next 3 with 11 is possible 3 with 11 hyphen 0 1 1 next 3 with 13 is not possible okay leave next 9 with 7 not possible because 3 changes 9 with 11 not possible is possible 10 hyphen 1 10 
hyphen 1 that is 9 with 11 next 9 with 13 1 hyphen 0 1 okay because one constant is changing 0 1 constant so 9 with 13 next 10 with 7 change 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 not possible 10 with 11 is possible 1 0 1 constant and it is changing so 10 with 11 1 0 1 hyphen next 10 with 13 constant changing 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 not possible so second group comparison is completed now compare this with this okay that is hyphen three ones hyphen three ones possible hyphen three ones next yes one hyphen one one eleven with fifteen next thirteen with fifteen is possible because one one hyphen one okay now the comparison is completed next again stage three this group with this group okay now we'll see that is hyphen in the second position only one okay hyphen in the second position hyphen one zero is yes, possible hyphen zero hyphen one hyphen zero hyphen one that means one three and nine eleven one three nine eleven next hyphen yes zero hyphen one that means one nine and three eleven same one nine three eleven is same so no need again same repeating only once is enough next compare this two that is last hyphen last hyphen only one possibility but zero is changing okay and here zero is changing not possible so leave it next compare this 210 okay 210 that means 210 is hyphen starting okay hyphen starting 311 yes zero constant one constant it is changing so it is possible 210 311 that means 2 3 10 11 okay that is hyphen 0 hyphen sorry 1 hyphen hyphen 0 hyphen hyphen 0 1 hyphen okay next 2 2 10 that is starting okay completed 2, 10. so this comparison is completed now compare this group with this group okay now we'll check the second place hyphen only one possibility okay zero is changing hyphen one one so possible that means hyphen hyphen one one three seven eleven fifteen hyphen hyphen one one okay next 311 that is starting iphone completed okay now next one this third position hyphen yes here it is third position hyphen yes possible because one constant hyphen hyphen one one hyphen hyphen one okay that means 315 and 911 9 11 3 15 okay in sequence next next is hyphen in the second position it is i think already completed 9 3 11 15 9 3 11 15 next 10 11 that is last hyphen there is no last hyphen so comparison and grouping is completed now we'll see the prime implicant chart okay prime implicant chart 
as we know write the prime implicants as a row and a column write only the min terms not the don't cares okay so prime implicants that is this is 1 3 9 11 okay 2 3 10 11 next 3 7 11 15 3 9 11 15 now this side 2 3 7 9 11 13 now this prime is prime implicant covers here it covers 1 because 1 is don't care no need to consider 3 cross either you cross or 1 place 1 next 9 11 next to 2 3 10 is don't care no problem leave it 11 next to 3 7 11 15 is don't care leave it 3 again 9 11 15 don't care okay sorry one minute this is 13 right 13 okay 13 3 9 13 15 3 9 13 not this 13 okay now we'll check that is this min terms how many number of times this prime implicants were covered in the min term see this is only one time two and seven only one time and 13 only one time and remaining and all more than one time that means here these are the essential prime implicants so no need to going for the next procedure okay so essential prime implicants are these three are the essential prime implicants only one is left so this completes the final sop minimized sop that is what is this value that is b bar c plus this is c d plus a d this is the final minimized sop using incompletely specified function that is nothing but don't care 